Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins. I am a Linode Developer Advocate. What we're gonna be doing in this video is playing around with Kali Linux. And this isn't gonna be a typical server install. This is a full GUI environment that we are gonna be able to connect to from our local machine using VNC. So without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and dive on in. So first in this video, we're gonna talk about exactly what Kali Linux is. We're gonna get it all set up on the node and connect to the system. And then we're gonna be running through some of the tools and use cases of the operating system. So Kali Linux is a Debian based Linux distribution designed for penetration testing or pen testing for short. Pen testing is essentially trying to hack into a system to find various network vulnerabilities. And Kali Linux is good for pretty much any security based use case, whether that be security research, computer forensics, reverse engineering, or really any task that has to do with internet security. Kali Linux can run on just about anything, whether that be bare metal, a cloud instance like we're going to be setting up today, off of a USB through Windows subsystem for Linux, or even ARM hardware such as the Raspberry Pi. It even has a version called NetHunter, which is a custom ROM that is used on Android devices. And this ROM actually has a custom application that allows for easy access to some common attack vectors, command line access, and a custom Android kernel the full Kali Linux desktop, and an application store full of pen testing tools. Android app aside, let's actually get this set up on the node, connect to it, and then we could dive into some of the other tools and things that it can do for us. So with that, let's go ahead and get this set up here. This is the actual guide on the Linode website that we're gonna be kind of following along with here. Primarily, the one thing you're going to need is down here at the bottom, we have some commands that we're gonna need to copy and paste into our local terminal. With that noted, let's go ahead and go under the Create Linode Wizard. And what we're gonna to want to do is go over to Marketplace. Now they actually redesigned this, it's very nice. So you can actually go ahead and search for what we need. So just type in Kali, we can see Kali Linux right there. From there, we're gonna scroll down the VNC user. This is how we're actually gonna to connect to our remote client to access our desktop. So I'm just gonna call that Brandon give myself a super complicated and secure password there. And then when we scroll down, we have three options here. I'm gonna wanna say yes to all of them. Would you like to install the Kali everything package? Yes. Would we like to install the headless package? Absolutely. And would we like to set up VNC and access the Kali Linux XFCE desktop? Yes. So from there, if you have an SSH public key, go ahead and paste that in. And if you want to actually set this up with a domain name, you could use Linode's API token. So you could set that up if you'd like to. For all this stuff, there'll be links and guides down below. Image, we're going with Kali. And then under region, you're gonna to want to select a server that is close to you. So for me, California is gonna be perfectly fine. If you're not sure, you can use their little speed test page right there, which works phenomenally. Next for the plan, for this to work fine with the graphical environment, you're gonna to want to pick a dedicated CPU plan. So this first one will work perfectly fine for our use case. And then from there, we could go ahead and give it a name. So this is just gonna be a little temp server. And then let's go ahead and give it a root password. And then from there, all we need to do is scroll down and create our Linode. And then we can see right here, it's being created. Now, one thing to note, this process for creating this specific Linode with the everything package and all that is going to take quite a while to download and install everything. And I mean, anywhere from like five to 30 minutes. It's definitely a lengthy process and you can monitor the process by launching the Lish console here. This is kind of like being able to watch a monitor. It's going to be downloading, installing packages, doing some configurations, all kinds of stuff that we don't have to do. And in order to save some time, I actually already have this one right here spun up ready to go for us. Essentially, I use the exact same process to set up this Linode. So what we need to do is simply connect to it. So like I said earlier, over here is a little guide. We're going to be using this right here to create an SSH tunnel so we could connect to this local host under our VNC client. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and what you're going to want to do is open up your terminal. Now this is the same process whether if you're on Mac OS, Linux, Windows, it's all going to be kind of the same. And you can see right there I was testing it out earlier. I'm going to go ahead and close that one out and what we're going to do is paste that on in. And from there, you're going to want to type in the username we set up in the one-click installer as our VNC username. And then we're going to want to go ahead and pull our IP address. So we can go to our Linode dashboard, 
give that a quick copy and then paste it on in right there. So when we go ahead and hit enter, it may ask you if this is a secure connection, you say yes, and then we go ahead and input our password for that Brandon username or whatever username you pick. Hit enter, and from there, it's gonna look like it's hung up. It's not. Right now, our SSH tunnel is now open, and to be able to connect to this VNC client, you're gonna need to leave this terminal open just like this. And now depending on your operating system or whatever tool you want to use, we're gonna need a way to connect to that. If you're on Linux, this right here is the application I'd highly recommend. It works phenomenally, lots of different configuration options and settings. Since I'm currently in Mac OS, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one that is included by default, which is this uh, screen sharing tool right here. So for connect to, what you're gonna to want to do is not put in your the node IP address. We are going to connect to this local host at what looks like the port 61,000. So give that a copy, paste that on in. You can see right there, I was testing it out earlier. Click on connect, type in your password, hit sign in, and boom, it's going to drop you right into your Kali desktop environment or your Kali Linux distribution with your XFCE desktop environment. And just as an example, I'm going to go ahead and open up the web browser and then go to one of the best websites around, Linode.com. And you can see I'm using this as if it is a computer here when it's actually on the cloud. And I could connect to this from just about anywhere in the world where I have an internet connection. And Kali Linux is preloaded with a ton of different tools or anything that you would need when it comes to security research, testing, hacking, really whatever you would need. And I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate some of the things that you could do real quick. And we're gonna start off with a uh, information gathering tool. Now there is a lot of information gathering tools within Kali Linux that can help you find certain attack vectors for things like DNS, and SMTP, SMB, SSL analysis, and a lot more. Now a very popular tool is called Nmap. What this is gonna do is show me a lot of information about a specific IP address or domain name. For example, if I want to find information about my IP address specifically, I would do nmap-a-techhut.tv and then I just wait a little bit until it provides me with a decent chunk of information. And there we go. This is all the information on my specific domain that I inputted right here. We could see some of the open ports, including SSH. We have port 80 as well as port 443 open. And we can see 110 is closed right there. Additionally, we can see that this is running a Linux operating system within the server. And if I scroll up a little bit, we can see here it's running a Linode IP address. So you can see that it is indeed hosted on Linode. And there's a lot more helpful information within all this. Now, another really popular tool is for a vulnerability analysis. And the tool to try out is called uh, Nico or Nick2. And to run this, you do that dash host, the domain name, and dash SSL. Hit enter from there. And the application will take a little while to run. You can see it's still going here. But just with the information it's provided thus far, you can see I'm running Apache and it's listing out some potential issues here. So the anti-click jacking, Optimus headers not found, and some more issues that I probably should be looking into with this specific website. We can see that the uh, WP content uploads directory is browsable, so this may uh, reveal sensitive information, and just gives you some information like that. Very helpful stuff. And for this, I'm just gonna say no for now. And the whole point of Kali Linux is just the sheer amount of tools and things that you could do with it. This was just two very simple examples. There's tools for database analysis, such as SQL map and the SQL database browser. There's password attacking tools, which is ex exactly what it sounds like. And some of the popular tools for that is like crunch, cool, and word lists, which will generate word lists for password profiling. And there's even other tools like hash ID and Hashcat. There's tools for wireless attacking. There's spoofing tools. There's post exploitation tools for things to do after you actually get into a system. And there's even social engineering tools within Kali Linux, such as the Social Engineer Toolkit, which allows you to generate payloads for certain type of attacks, such as spear phishing. So with that, there's definitely a lot to get into within Kali Linux. And with this video, we've set up a perfect environment for you to start dabbling around in it. With that, I do hope you enjoyed this video. This is a wonderful channel for cloud computing content. Make sure you subscribe and you ring that bell so you do not miss any future uploads. 
And better yet, if you want to try this out today for kind of free, you could go ahead and use a $100 60-day credit, which will be linked down below. Again, subscribe, check out all the other videos on this channel. There is some great stuff. And with all that, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.